Okay, hey everyone. Um, originally, I was gonna write something on this board, but I've had a pretty frustrating day at work because my projects aren't working out, and I'm really sad. So I'm just gonna talk chemistry. If you don't know chemistry, um, this is gonna be very hard to understand, and um, I can try to teach you, but it's a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna tell you about Lubical 1. Um, originally, Lubical 1 was Project Fluonium, but we had, I had more ideas, and I quickly realized that this is co totally different from the original idea. So, let's think back. d and it was supposed to be the fastest possible water-based lubricant that we could make, I could make. What if we could do that for silicones? We look, I looked into different coefficient of friction reducing compounds, molybdenum disulfide, Teflon, uh, other stuff, graphite, um, but it wasn't enough because these things would settle out. And I kept trying different things, all kinds of things, surfactants, PEG 400, um, various uh, suspending units, xanthan gum, all kinds of stuff to suspend it, but it was never enough. Even suspending it at 100,000 centistrokes it would still separate over time. Teflon is not miscible with water, and there had to be some way to use Teflon as lubricant that would be stable over time and feel nice with Rubik's cubes. I think I was successful, guys. So I'm gonna take a step back and tell you some concepts I've been working on. Um, I mentioned this in my Patreon stream for my brainstorming session, but there is this compound that's silicon-based. It is a cyclic polysiloxane ether. And the cool thing about this is it's very low molecular weight and it's very, very, very fast. The viscosity is absurd, but it, eva it evaporates over time because it's so small. So what if we made an azeotrope with this? So an azeotrope is a mixture of two volatile compounds that when mixed together are not as volatile. And you have these all around you, literally all around us, the gases and liquids everywhere. Um, the common one is, uh, Alcoholic drinks. Ethanol with water will never completely evaporate. So when people cook with alcohol, there's always a little bit left. Because no matter what, there's always going to be some because it has an azeotropic mixture. You can only get it to about 96, 94%. And that's the maximum amount you can do without using tricks like dry ice. We can do that with silicone lubes. And we can make better lubricants. Lubrical 1. The, to, to explain the number one, Traxxas 30K, 50K, 100K, that K stands for 1,000 centistrokes. Traxxas 30K is 30,000 times as viscose as water. What if we made a weight a lube that was 0.001K, lubricable one? If we combined azeotropic mixtures of polysiloxane ethers with extremely low molecular weight silicone oils and then we combine that with the coefficient of friction of Teflon we can make lubrical one we started out with DNM the fastest possible water-based lube that we could make in-house now we have the fastest possible silicone lube that I can make in-house and uh, we're screening this by the bosses it's been fast-tracked it's been greenlit hopefully we can get this out to you soon so thank you